Hello everybody. This might be a short one here. This is a kind of a follow-up video. You know the little Massey, the little Massey Ferguson 190. Uh, the crank wobble is out of sight. See if you can. It's crazy. But I made a new gasket for it that's a little thinner and it's kind of tighter now than it was. And I stuck it back together because brother was talking about it didn't have any fire. So I stuck I made a little gasket and I stuck it back together to see if we could get some fire. And I did. <laughs> now I'm I'm wore out, so I'm a bit shaky. But I'm gonna try to show y'all that we got fire and then I'll tell you how. Hopefully y'all will be able to see this. Sorry. Sorry if I'm making anybody sick. <laughs> I'm not the best cameraman when it comes to this. It does come and go a little bit, and I do not know why. But I'm going to flip you. Wee! Hope y'all like roller coaster rides. Okay. He put a chip in it, and he had the chip grounded and hooked to the points wire, which is what you're supposed to do. There's a positive and negative on these chips. Sometimes you hook them up one way and they don't work. So all I did was switch these two wires. I put the ground on the outside and the points wire on the inside and I got fire. So we're going to see if it'll pop and make a noise or something. So like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm getting kind of jittery, but I'm just tired. It's, it's late in the day, later in the day. I haven't done anything else. I'm going to try putting the plug back in it. Getting the plug wire on it. And we're going to just see if it'll pop off so we can at least see what we'll, we'll maybe even get to hear what it sounds like when it fires up. I don't know why that hole is so hard to get a screw in, but it is. Where is the other screw at? Oh, that must be the reason why. There must be different size screws in it. There's no doubt that some of these holes are probably messed up pretty good. The bad thing is I took three screws out and I only got two. I don't see one laying in the clear. how it happens sometimes around here. There it is. These screws have definitely been boogerized. But, well, it is what it is. We're going to find out if it'll make a racket. I don't know about running. I'm gonna I'm gonna message him here shortly, brother. I'm gonna message you. Of course, I'll have already messaged you by the time 
this video is out. It's got compression. We're going to see if it'll make a budding button noise. I'm going to squirt just a little bit of For some reason, the little line in here always gets turned. I think it warps on its own. Uh, I put a little juice in it, maybe. Just gonna put a little bit in there so we can see if it'll fire off. All right. Y'all ready to see if it makes noise? Got a little bit of pool handle. I might have flooded the car out of it. It does make a noise. I don't think, I personally don't think that it's going to be a running usable saw. I really don't. Could we maybe get some gas in it and it crank and run for a little bit and cut a piece of wood? It's possible. But I'm going to say it's probably not going to be very probable without maybe getting new bearings to go in the ends of the crank and it it probably really needs a new piece of crank or a new crank altogether because those two pieces are extremely loose I mean they are there's no way that that's gonna work good and you can actually you can actually turn the flywheel and the clutch back and forth and there's just a little bit of slop in there how in the world they ever made something that way and expected it to last is beyond me. Because uh, there's no thrusts. There's no thrusts in there at all. There's no thrust bearings. Uh, I mean, if you'd put a thrust bearing on either side of the crank and made it with like zero tolerance, where when you put it together it was perfect by chance you would have probably been you know the best you could have got it is a neat little saw I don't know how many parts there are available for uh, but that's I thought y'all might want to see that. The, the, the other stuff I've done over here, there was nothing, there was no diagnosis or anything like that. I simply scraped the gasket off of that cover and I used the old big league tube box to make a new gasket because it was thinner than the other gasket material. I just took a hammer and tapped around it, knocked it out, put the seal back in it. I didn't put the points back in it because they're, they're not doing anything. It's running off that chip now, so. Uh, it does run. Uh, apparently it's been 
it's been roughed up. This this one's cracked down here on the pull start cover. That one's cracked. And that one looks like it. I don't know. It may not be. It may not be cracked. But that's what she sounds like. So we did get it to run. All right, y'all. It's about time for Mama to be here, and I got to go. I got to see if we can get to the store, find something for supper. So, y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Be kind. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. God bless. Remember, Jesus loves you. They'll hop her out. <laughs>